Enhancement 2 involves working with the database to practice writing and implementing SQL queries and a PDO connection function. As with all enhancement videos, the purpose is not to demonstrate code, rather to show you what the finished enhancement would look like. I recommend developing all of your SQL queries in the SQL tab of the PHP MyAdmin tool, as it provides several options that will allow you to test without making permanent changes to the database while testing. You have a series of six SQL or SQL queries to perform. One of these is an insert. The insert must be executed permanently to the database in order for the second query to be performed. Because of this, I will demonstrate the first query for you and show the operation of the options I mentioned a moment ago. First, start the web and database servers in your local development environment. Once started, open the PHP MyAdmin tool. Click on the database to be used. Then click the SQL or SQL tab to begin writing your statements. Beneath the SQL query box are several checkboxes. The two you will be interested in using will be the Rollback When Finished and Retain Query box. A rollback allows the query to be executed on a temporary basis, then the database is rolled back to the condition it had before the query ran. This allows the PHP MyAdmin tool to report back the success or failure of the query without making any permanent changes to the data. The Retain Query box simply keeps the query box visible so you can see and continue to work with your SQL code. Having demonstrated their use, I will turn off the Rollback checkbox and run the Insert Query. Now, if you look at the table, you'll see that the new record is there and will remain permanently unless altered in the future. After building and testing each query, copy and paste the working query into the Enhancement2.txt file for use when you create the video at the end of the enhancement. As you create the video, you will not want to roll back any query, rather run them so that they make changes to the database. Finally, the second task is to build a connection function to the database and implement it. If the function works, a blank screen will appear because the object is returned, but not used. If the function fails, you will develop an error page and use PHP to display the error page. When the testing is done and your video produced, make sure you comment out or delete the function call as directed in the enhancement directions. We will be writing SQL statements throughout the semester as we develop our dynamic website. So this week gets the foundation of SQL in place and allows us to get started. Good luck and be sure to work within your learning teams to help yourself and others be successful.